Our Father, we thank you for this very day. We appreciate you for gathering us together once again like this. Thank you because you have a purpose for each and every one of us. Thank you because of our gathering together. Thank you for the good things you have been doing and for the wonderful things you still do in our midst today. Father, we say, may your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, we have come from different places, different states, different countries, different villages, different cities. We have come unto you, O Lord. As we have come to you today, we are asking you will accept us and you will show us your mercy that our coming to you today will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Speak to our heart today, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Lift up your voices wherever you are and begin to say, Thank you, Lord. Begin to thank the Lord wherever you are now. Just begin to say, Thank you, Lord. Thank him, thank him. If you don't if you don't have anything to thank God for, please thank God for me, for my life and for my family. Begin to thank God for all that God has done for you. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him. Say, God, I thank you. Say, God, I thank you. 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 Lift up your voices and begin to thank the Lord. Thank the ancient of days. Thank the I am that I am. The God of all possibilities. The God that can do what no man can do. The God that can turn water in into wine. Begin to appreciate him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Once again, I want us to thank the Lord for how God has made it possible for you to be alive and to see this very day. Let me tell you, it is not by your power or because you can pray or because you go to church or because you're a Christian that has made you to see today. It is the grace of God and the love of God that has made you and me to be alive today. Why not appreciate God for that purpose? That God has made you, your family, to be alive today. Begin to say, God, I thank you for keeping me alive. I slept last night. Here am I this morning, this very day today. You have kept me alive. You have made it possible for me to be alive. Why not lift up your voices and begin to appreciate the King of Kings? Why not begin to appreciate the Lord of Lords, the Lord who has made you to sleep? He never allowed you to die in your sleep. He never allowed you to have a terrible dream that would take your life away. Why not say, God, I thank you. Why not appreciate his holy name? Give thanks to his holy name. Appreciate his holy name. Say, God, I thank you. Thank you because I am alive today. Thank you for keeping me alive. Thank you for making it possible for me to be alive. Thank the name of the Lord. Thank the name of the Lord. I can't hear your voices. I can't hear you praying. I can't hear you praying. Pray and thank the Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. At this time, at this time, I want us to begin to ask for the presence of the Lord into our midst. I don't know where you are. God knows where you are. Begin to ask for his presence. Oh God, I need your presence in our prayer today. In my house where I am, in my office where I am, anywhere you are, begin to ask for the presence of the Lord. Oh God, I need your presence in our, in our midst today. I need your presence here, where I'm standing here in my house. I need your presence in our midst. Begin to ask for the presence of the Lord. Begin to invite His presence. Begin to invite His presence. Begin to invite His presence. Oh Lord, I invite your presence today into our midst. 
Lord, I invite your presence. Lord, I invite your presence. Lord, I invite your presence. Lord, I invite your presence in our midst today. Speak to us. Move mightily in our midst. Move mightily in our midst. Move mightily in our midst. Tell the Lord to move. Tell him to move. Tell him to move. Tell him to move. Tell him to move. Oh Lord, move. Reveal yourself today as we gather together. Father, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 I can understand some people are not with us online now. Let's pray for them. We don't know what has kept them behind. Perhaps some are sleeping or they've forgotten. Let's pray that God Almighty, the Spirit of the Lord will go after them. And the Spirit of the Lord will be a reminder to them that the prayer has started. It's time for the prayer. Begin to pray that the Spirit of the Lord will go after them and begin to remind them and bring them to join us. Pray for them, pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. Lord, let your spirit go after as many who are not here with us. Let your spirit go after them. Let your spirit go after them and bring them. Let your spirit go after them and bring them. Pray and talk to the Lord. Pray that the spirit of the Lord will go after them. The spirit of the Lord will go after them. The spirit of the Lord will go after them. The spirit of the Lord will go after them. Father, let your spirit go after them. Let your spirit go after them. We are talking to them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want us to pray for the country Nigeria. If you are to be in Nigeria today, I'm telling you, well, let me not say much, but let's pray for this country. A lot is going on in Nigeria now. As I speak to you, it is as if there's no peace anymore in Nigeria. Things, places, are sh- places are shaking. Places are shaking. People are looking for where to go and hide. People are looking for where to go and stay. Every time you see fighting here, it's too much. Let's pray for Nigeria that the peace of God will reign in Nigeria. God will dwell in Nigeria. God will have his way in Nigeria. God will take over this country, Nigeria. God, take over this country, Nigeria. Take over the country, Nigeria. Come and have your way in Nigeria. Come and have your way in Nigeria. Come and have your way in Nigeria. Come and have your way, Nigeria. Come and have your way, Nigeria. Come and have your way. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I can only hear one person's voice praying. I can only hear one person's voice praying. Please, let's pick up. Let's pick up. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are still praying for Nigeria. Nigeria is my country. Perhaps it's your country as well. I wouldn't know. But please let's join our hands together and pray for this country, Nigeria. Pray that the peace of the Lord will reign. The presence of the Lord will abide. God himself will take over the country, Nigeria. Lift up your voice and pray country. for this country, Nigeria. Yeah. Oh Lord, take over Nigeria. Oh Lord, take over Nigeria. 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 We need peace in Nigeria. Father, we need peace. We need peace. We need peace. We need peace in Nigeria. 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 Have your way in Nigeria. Lord, have your way. 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 Have your way in Nigeria. Have your way, have your way in Nigeria. Nigeria. Come and have your way. 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 Have your way, Nigeria, no Lord. 
have your way in Nigeria. 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 Oh Lord, come and have your way. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be to God and be people. Have your way, Nigeria, daddy. By your power. Your mighty name. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Today, the Lord we speak to each and every one of us as we are gathered in Jesus' name. Amen. Briefly, I want us to pray briefly. Just talk to the Lord wherever you are. Say, oh Lord, speak to my heart today. I want to hear from you today. Visit me. Speak to my heart today. Talk to the Lord. Tell him to speak to me. Lord, speak to me. I want to hear from you today. Speak to my heart today. I want to to hear from you today. Speak to my heart. Speak to my heart. Speak to me today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Before we continue, I want us to pray and talk to the Lord because today, not that day that God will visit his people, but we need to pray whatever that may want to stand as an obstruction, as an angel. Perhaps your sin may want to stand against you today for you not to receive from the Lord. If there is any way you have sinned against the Lord, if there, if there is any way you've done the things you shouldn't have done, there is another opportunity for you today. Why not lift up your voice and say, God, where am I today? Have mercy upon me. Anyway, I have sinned against you. Anyway, that I have done things I shouldn't have done that will end my prayers today. Lord, show mercy. Show mercy. I am sorry for everything I have committed. The things I committed secretly. The things I committed without anyone knowing. The things I committed without knowing it to me. And even the sin I committed knowingly to me, but this day I am sorry. I am sorry, have mercy upon me. Show me your mercy. I don't want my prayers to be in vain. I don't want my prayers to be in vain. I don't want my prayers to be in vain. Prayers to be to be in vain. Lord, my prayers to be must not be in vain. Lord, my prayers to be must not be in vain. Talk to the Lord about it. Pray that your prayers today will not be in vain. Father, my prayers today must not be in vain. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Any way that I have speak unknowingly, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, deliver me. Have mercy on me, forgive me by your power. In the name of Jesus, bless your kingdom. Any obstacle in my way, that I will not receive anything. Let it be on fire this morning. Take them away from me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Like I said before, only one person that is praying that I can hear a voice. I want us to open our mouth and pray to the Lord. We are not praying to man. We are praying to God. Make him hear your voice. Make him hear your voice. I want us to go for our Bibles now. Let's please quickly pick our Bibles and open to the book of Isaiah. Please, let's pick our Bible. Let's pick our Bible. Let's pick our Bible. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 43. Isaiah, I read from verse 43, the book of Isaiah, are we all there? Mm-hmm. Isaiah, Isaiah is after the book of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, are we there? Yes, sir. Yes, 43, yes. yes. Isaiah 43, 
Someone should please help us read verse 18 and 19. Someone should please read 18 and 19 for us. Who is reading for us? Remember you not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Be old. I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and river in the desert. God bless you, sir. Yes. This passage hmm. that we have read now, the Lord is speaking to me, is speaking to you, and is making us to understand that, you know, the year, the previous year, 2019, has gone. Yesterday has gone. Today is a new day. And the Lord is telling you, is telling me, he said, my dear sister, my dear daughter, my dear son, he said, remember in not the former things. Remember not the troubles you passed through yesterday. Remember not the difficulties you went through yesterday. Remember not the, 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 the lack you went through yesterday. He said, remember not all that has been making you to cry. You know, perhaps maybe you are here with us. Yesterday, before you slept, you still cried about a particular issue. You still have a thought about a particular issue that gave you concern. The Lord is making you and me know today. He said, remember you know the former things. What are those former things? You know, the, you know, you can, you, you can, you, the, the lot of things that could stand as those former things, like, like I said before, Former things that have been making you to cry. Former things that you weep personally in your house. You just weep. You are walking on the street. You are thinking. You are in the kitchen. You are thinking. You are in your house. You are thinking. Every time you are just thinking. So full mm-hmm. now and then. The Lord is speaking to your heart today. The Lord is talking to you. He said, remember in not the former things. We are in the new year. This is today. is just 8th of um, February 2020 second month of the year, the fact that God has not done anything for you in the month of January doesn't mean that this month of February is not going to do something for you. And he's telling you, he's telling me, he said, remember he not the former things, neither consider the things of old. You know, the things of the old, they are things, they are things that are past. You know, like, uh, you know, somebody said, I had miscarriage January. I said, oh, that was January. Forget about it. But we are prayed today. We have spoken to the Lord. I'm telling you, as we have spoken today, that miscarriage will never come up again. You know, forget Amen. about it. Amen. Miscarriage, miscarriage is a thing of the past. You forget about it once you believe the Lord. And the Lord is saying in verse 19, He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. The Lord will mm-hmm. do a new thing in your life. Mm-hmm. I said, The Lord will do a new thing in your life. Amen. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. That means today, as you are praying, it will spring forth. I said it will spring forth. Amen. Amen. Look at what the scripture is saying in verse 19. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Today being the 8th of February, it shall spring forth in your life. In your marriage, in your business, in your ministry, in the work of your hands, it shall spring forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall he not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. Perhaps yeah. you have been toiling in the wilderness before now. You have been mm. toiling. Somebody said, Lord, teach me how to go about this business. He said, teach me how do I go about this business. Forget about the past. We are in the new transition. We are in the new year, 2020 vision. As our Father and the Lord has, have said to us, you know, in the, in, the, in the Covenant Sundays, 2020 vision. I am telling you, the Lord is not a mm. man that will lie. He cannot lie with his word. He cannot lie with his word. God mm-hmm. can never lie with anything God says he will do, he will do. He cannot lie. He's not the son of man that will repent. Has he said to you, has he given you some promises? Has he made some promises to you? Has he said, will he not do it? Has he spoken? Will he not make it come to pass in your life? 
I am telling you, the Lord is telling you today, He said, I will make a way in the wilderness. Where you Amen. think, where you, where you thought, where you, where you think there can't be a way there. God will make a way. You know, somebody said, you know, they want to take my land, they want to take my property, and then we pray together. Do you know God did something? And then, you know, what can God not do? What can He not do? I want to appeal to us today, whatever the situation has been, whatever has been making you to have, you know, crying secretly, whatever has been giving you concern before now, why not just wipe away your tears? Why not just clean that tears away and look up to God, looking up, looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. God is a miracle working God. Look at Peter. He has been toiling around throughout the day, throughout the night, throughout the week, throughout the month. He caught nothing. He caught nothing. But by the time he had a counter with the Lord, by the time he met the Lord, what happened to Peter? He caught many fishes to the extent that the net he was using was almost breaking. And he had to beckon on the other people beside him, the other boat, they came and they helped him. What can God not do? Look at, look at Lazarus. Lazarus has been dead four days, and then Mary knew. She said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. You know, that was what she, that, that was what she told, she said to the Lord. And then, you know, little did she know that the person she was talking to has the power to do all things. You that reported the case to the Lord, and now you still want to bring discouragement to the Lord. Do you know what she said? She said, Lord, no, already is thinking. <laughs> but you told me that if I was here, he wouldn't have died. And I have come to manifest to show my power. How come you are telling me again that he's thinking? You know? And God proved in his, in, you know, he proved in, you know, his power. And you know what? Lazarus, who has been dead, came first. How will you imagine? Somebody that has been buried. You went for his wakeeping. You went for his barrier, and you ate probably the, the refreshment, the shed, and you knew that this person, they buried he or she in this particular position. Suddenly, after two weeks, after two weeks, after two weeks, suddenly, you were going in the supermarket, and you met the person in the supermarket, and you called his name. He answered, and you confirmed, ah, this is the person. You know, you'll be very shocked. That was what happened to Lazarus. That was what happened to Lazarus. God is a miracle-working God. This month of February, I am telling you, so many of us that are with us on this prayer line, you will begin to see the hand of God in your life. Amen. Amen. You will begin to see the hand of God in your family. Amen. Amen. In every of your endeavor, in your ministry, you are here as a pastor, you are here with us as a pastor today, you will begin to see changes in your ministry, changes in your church, Changes in your life, changes in your family, you begin to see the hand of God working, you know, dramatically in your life than ever before in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We may not have much time today to pray, but I'm telling you with the little prayer point that the Lord asked for us today, I'm telling you if mm. only you can pray, if only you can pray, if only you can pray. I am telling you today, you will see a change in your life, a change in that situation, a change in that circumstances. You will see a change entirely in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Without, without wasting much of our time, he said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall he not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Look, look, look at what God did for the children of Israel. Listen, listen, yeah, listen. Look at what God, listen, listen, listen. Look at what God did for the children of Israel. God yes. provided them water. Even in the wilderness, the water they yeah. had there was bitter. It was the bitter yeah. water that they couldn't drink from that water. And Moses yeah. cried unto the Lord, he spoke to the Lord, and the Lord told him what to do. By the time he caught the tree, it threw into the water. The water that was made bitter became sweet. Every bitterness of your life, whatever has been causing bitterness and sorrow in your life from today, the Lord will turn them to a sweeter thing for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The children of Israel are a good and perfect example for us to learn. 
to take up to, to take up to. You know, they went to the wilderness. Tell me, how would they be eating what the you know, do you know how many years, how many weeks, how many months they ate cucumber and garlic? They kept on eating one particular food. Or you know, I'm telling you, this God is a great God. He will prove mm-hmm. himself great in that situation that is standing before you. He will prove mm-hmm. in that situation that things mm-hmm. that you thought can never be erased away. God will prove mm-hmm. himself and you will see his power, you will see his might in your life, in that situation, in that challenge, in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> At this time, you will lift up your voice, please, wherever you are. If you are lying down, I would appeal to you kindly, please stand up. We are in the presence of the Lord, though we are not in the church, but we are in the presence of the Lord. The Lord is where you are. He's seeing you. Please rise up on your feet. Stand up. Do not lie down. This is not the time to be lying down. You can just stand up. We want to pray. You will talk to the Lord. Lord, according to your word in Isaiah 43, verse 19, you said, I will remember not the former things. You said, Behold, you will do a new thing in my life. Lord, today is that day. Come and do a new thing. Come and show me that new thing. That new thing you said you will do in my ministry. The new thing you said you will do in my life. The new thing you said you will do in my business. Oh Lord, God, come and do it. Please stop your voice and talk to the Lord. Tell him to come and do the new thing. That new thing he has promised to do. Oh Lord, come and do the new thing. Come and do the new thing. Lord, come and do the new thing. The new thing you have promised you will do. Lord, come and do a new thing in my life. I need a change. I need a change. I need a change. Father, come and do a new thing. Come, Lord. Come, Lord. Come and do a new thing. Come and do a new thing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going. We are going to be taking this song. We are taking it just three times. Three times after the third time, just you know, that's okay. Let's not sing it together for the third time. Let's just sing. Let's sing this song together. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Amen. 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 We we are taking this song together just three times. Just three times. Just three times. Do something new. In my life, something new in my life, something new in my life. Oh Amen. 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 We are taking the song now. We are singing three times. Please, wherever you are, close your eyes, sing the song, and look up to heaven. See that God is doing something new. As you are closing your eyes, just see that He's doing that something new you are asking for. Close your eyes, look up to heaven. Lord, something new. After the count of two, we are singing together. One, two. Do something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Do 
to the Lord, you will lift up your voice, you will talk to the Lord, I, as I hear, I discard something new from the Lord, you will talk to the Lord, but I do something new in my life, I need a change of life in this world, but I do something new, do something new, do something new, do something new, do something new in my life, 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 Come and do something in my life, oh Lord. Come and do something in my life, oh Lord. Come and do something in my life, oh Lord. Come and do something in my life, oh Lord. Come and do something in my life, Come and do something in my life, Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. We, we, we are going to take the prayer once again. Like I said, you may be having limited time for prayer today. You will talk to the Lord once again. Lord, according to your word, it's Isaiah 48. You said you will do a new thing. Shall we not spring forth? Lord, I am in your presence. I am in your presence. Do something new in my life, in my ministry, in my family, in my business, in the life of my wife, my children, my husband. Come and do something new. Me, Lord, I pray and talk to the Lord. Let me do something new. Let me do something new. Let me do something new. Lord, I am tired of my life. 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 Lord, I need something new in my life. I need a change. I am tired of the Lord. I am tired of the Lord. Something new in my life, Lord. Come and do something new, Father. Lord, I call upon you. Do something new in my life. 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 Do something new in my in the name of Jesus, do something in my life. In the name of Jesus, do something new. Do something new, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, do something new, Holy Spirit. Do something new in my family, in my home. Do something new, Lord. In the name of Jesus, do something new, Lord. 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 Do I wouldn't know I wouldn't know how many pastors are gathering today together with us on this online prayer. As many pastors that are here with us on this online prayer meeting, you are gonna pray for yourself and your ministry and I want every one of us to pray along with him. Everybody should pray along with every pastors gathering with us here right now. We will pray for them. 
pastors as they are praying for you. You also be praying for yourself in the ministry God has placed in your hand. Lord, something new must begin from today. Amen. Amen. You, will begin, you, will, you will begin to talk to yourself. Then you, other members, other people that are here, please pray for them. Lord, let something new begin in the ministry of our pastors that are gathering with us in, on this prayer line. Let something new begin in their ministry. Lift you up the voice of prayer and talk to the Lord. Ministry. Father, I need something new in my ministry. Let something new be in God. Let something new be in In this ministry that you have placed upon my heart. Lord, in this ministry that you have placed Let something new be Let something new be Let something new be Do something new in this ministry. Do something new in the world of the I need a change. 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 Yes, pastors, you're going to pray for as many members who are joining us also in this prayer line. Perhaps we have those who are meeting with us today for the first time. But let's pray for everybody. We will pray for them, pastors. The authority God has given to you as a servant of God, use it on everyone that is you know, uh, uh, gathering with us on this online prayer meeting. We will pray for them. And you members as well, pray for yourselves that God will begin something new in your family. God will begin something new in the life of your children, in the life of your husband, in the life of your wife. You begin to pray in any area that you need something new. Begin to call upon God to do something new. Pastors will join them. Pray for them. God, as many joining in, this, in today's prayer, let something new begin in their life. Please talk to your voice and pray and talk to the Lord now. Talk to the Lord. Father, let something new begin. In the life of your people, as many joining us for this prayer today, let something new begin in their life. Lord, I pray that you will do something new in the life of your people. As many looking up to you for one need or the other, as many believing you for for one challenge or the other, oh Lord, do do something new, do something new, do something new. Do something new, do something new, do something new, do something new. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 We are going to talk to the Lord once again. You will tell him, Lord, in this very year, 2020, also in this month of February, we will tell him to make a way for you. He said, Amen. I will make a way in the he said, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers oh, yeah, in the yeah. desert. Just just imagine that. You know, if you look, I, I don't know the Red Sea. I've not been to the Red Sea before, but the scientists say that Red Sea that is as tall as is as tall as we thought a, a three-story building. You will pray and talk to the Lord. Lord, make a way for me. Make a way for me this year. Talk to him. Make a new way for me. Make a new way for me. Make a new way for me. Pray and talk to the Lord. Make a new way for me. 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 I need you to make a way for me. I need you to make a way for me. I need you to make a way for me. I I want to I want to correct an impression. I want to correct an impression. Whenever we, uh, whenever we are on this online prayer meeting, whatever distractions that may want to be that may, that may want to show that show face or show show face, please, I wouldn't want us to be distracted. If you call in to pray, 
please, let's pray together. It's just Amen. within the period of an hour. I beg everyone of us. I beg everyone of us, please. Whether on Thursday or on Saturday, I want us to be focused on the prayer. We are talking to God and mm. not man. You will lift mm-hmm. up your voice once again. Ah, Lord, this year you will make a way. Every ah, month of the year, Lord, every Lord. week of the week, mm-hmm. every week of the month, you will make a way for me. Yeah, every yeah, day, yeah, Lord, yeah. make a way, make a way, make a way. Make a way for me this year. Make a way for me this year. Father, make a way, make a way. Talk to the Lord. Let him to make a way for me. Every day of the week, every week of the month, make a way for me. Lord, make a way, 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 make a way. Make <laughs> You know, uh, before we started this prayer, I like to, I always like to go to a place whereby there won't be noise, you know, my children will not be disturbing me this Saturday. I just like to go to a place to, you know, stay there, no distraction, no disturbance, and then something happened. Today, I'm going to say it later, but we still, I, I still want us to pray and talk to the Lord. We will talk to him. Oh Lord, I, you are the one that made the way for the children of Israel. Lord, make a way for me. Tell him to make a way for you. Make a way for the children of Israel. You make a way for them. They pass through the sea. Oh Lord, this year, you must make a way for me. Pray that God will make a way for you. Tell him to make a way. 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 Tell him make <laughs> You will pray for yourself. You will talk to the Lord. You will talk to the Lord. Lord, what is making me stagnant? What has kept me stagnant in one position? I, I don't know who that prayer, but please pray for yourself. What has made me stagnant? Made me to remain stagnant in one position. Every week stagnant, every month stagnant, no way out, nothing, no progress, nothing to write home about, no testimony. Lord, every spirit of stagnation, that thing that has made me to remain stagnant, let that be cut fire. Let that thing go Let that thing cut fire. Let that thing break. We are talk to the Lord. Whatever has made you stagnant, whatever has kept you stagnant, that progress is not coming your way. Progress is not coming your way. Lord, let that thing cut fire. We are talking about it. Whatever has made you stagnant, whatever has made you stagnant, 
You know, some of our brother, he has been calling me a series of time, and then though we uh, pray through the phone, yeah, you know, by our place here, and then he called on Friday, and I said, oh, sorry, uh, can you meet me in one of our church, you know, in one, one of the churches, uh, one of our church, and yeah, he said, okay, sir, and then though he wasn't having the means of coming, but God provided the means. You know, as he came, we were praying, we were praying, we were praying, we were praying, we were praying. Suddenly, something came up. And I said, sorry, have you ever seen somebody dead? That you just used to dream of somebody dead. He said, yes, sir. I still had a dream just last week, just this week. I said, oh, really? Oh, thank God. God is speaking. I said, you're going to pray. There's so many dead people that has, been sh- that has been coming your way in the dream. That whenever good things are coming, they will just show faith. And when they show faith, mm-hmm. good things will never come. This brother is up to the age of getting married, no marriage, no wife, no house, no work, no money. Mm. I pity the brother. I pity him. When I saw him yesterday, I pity him. Enough. I don't know, mm. maybe perhaps you go, you see such, or you search on your way. They're going to talk to the Lord. I must not be messed up. 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 Perhaps you may not need the prayer, or the prayer is not talking to you. But I'm sure you have a daughter somewhere. I'm sure you have mm. a son somewhere. Look about, just take a look at the life of your daughter, of your son. Are things going on well for them as a mother, as a father? And I just pray for them. What is making my son, my daughter to be stagnant? That even me, I still send money to him. A grown up person, things are not going on well. You know, so what today, problem tomorrow, they keep you know, giving you different, different complaints on a daily basis. You will pray for them once again. As you are praying for your children, remember to pray for your husband, remember to pray for your wife, whatever has made them to remain stagnant. Lord, today release them. Send forth your hand as you release the children of Israel out from the hand of Pharaoh. But every Pharaoh that has kept me and my children, my family stagnant, release us. Lift up your voice and pray and talk to you. Tell you everything that I make my family that has kept any mother that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or whatever that I have made my family pregnant or wh
I was saying before now that something happened. Here I start waiting that two o'clock should come so that we can commence the prayer. My Bible was in my hand. I was praying. Suddenly I slept off. As I slept, I just, just within, I don't know, just within some seconds, I saw myself, I was taken to a place like under the bridge. There was water under the bridge. It's not a big water. And somebody was standing in that water. It looked like a man. So I was told to come there and I saw a lot of things. I said, I was this. So while I was sleeping, I just had a tap on my hand. I think somebody came and tapped me, took me, tried, and I woke up. Ah, nobody was tapping me. And I had prayed. And I was praying. As I was praying again, I still slept up again. Another thing came up again. They brought something, a white big chair, and then they lost their prayer. They're going to pray. I don't know, maybe somebody has been dreaming of water, just be, just be dreaming of water, or they took something from me, they throw in the water. We will pray you will talk to the Lord. Father, whatever has been taken away from me unknowingly and has been thrown into the water, has been buried in the water, has been covered in the water, today, Lord, recover it for me. Recover it for me. Recover it for me. Lift up your voice and pray and talk to the Lord. Whatever has been taken away from you unknowingly, or whatever the enemy has taken away, and they are thrown into the water. They are thrown into the water. Oh Lord, recover it for me. 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 Recover it Let I want us to pray 
We are praying for ourselves. As a mother, you are here with us. Please pray for your sons. Pray for your daughters. As a husband, you are here. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. Pray for your daughters. And as a child, as children, you are also here. Pray for your mommy. Pray for your daddy. The prayer now is, you know your wife better than I do. You know your husband better than I do. You know, the, you know your children better than I do. You will pray for them. That spirit of stubbornness, that spirit of not serving God, that spirit of my own I will do, that spirit of, you know, non-talent attitude, pray for them. God should take that spirit away. My brother, I pray for my husband, for my spouse. I pray for the other one, the Lord of Jesus Christ. God is finished. I don't know them. You are a good child. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. an incident Amen. happened yesterday night on my on my window around around 2 a.m. Suddenly somebody just came to my window and then um, 2 a.m. middle of the night and then I woke up. I almost said a negative thing and the person said no 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 you know and then uh, you know I thank God. You will talk to the Lord. Oh Lord, release your power. Release your fire. Upon my life. Let me tell you, if the power of the Lord is resting upon you, you can never fear any enemy. You can never fear any demonic power. You can never fear the witches. We pray. Amen. Amen. My phone, my phone is saying time off. But my wristwatch is saying seven more minutes. I don't know which is correct now. I don't know which is correct. My phone is saying time off, three o'clock already. My wristwatch is saying seven minutes. This is three o'clock already on the time. Three o'clock okay. already on the time. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Um, let's just take two more prayer points before we round up. Two more prayer points, please. Before we round up. Before we round up. I want us to pray. Once again, you pray for the power of God. Let me tell you, it is the power that came upon Elijah that made him to call that fire to consume the first of 50 who came. If not for the power, if it's that spoken, nothing will happen. You will ask for the power of the Lord once again. Lord, I need the indwelling of your power in my life. I need your power to, to recite me. I need your power in my life. I need to talk your voice and pray. 
Lord, I need your power. 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 Lord, I need Amen. Amen. Yeah. Lastly, I want us to pray every acorn, every acorn that is hiding under the umbrella of this online prayer, looking for faults. They are looking for faults. Once they get a fault, they will just go, hey, hey, these people, they are doing like this, they are saying this, they are, no, they are, they are going to pray. Every acorn. That is under this platform, I been here daily. We don't know them, God knows them. We will pray that God will expose them and God will amen. take them far away from us. Amen. God will take them far away from us. We don't need them. Amen. You know why I said this? Amen. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on sir. They are having honor the cupboard. Amen. 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 The last prayer point, I want us to pray it very well. You know, I, I know the reason why I, I brought this up. I was in one of our district church somewhere in Lagos, and then I'd finished the ministration. I want to drop the mic, and I had something, and I said, okay, please, I'm sorry. Let's just take this prayer point. While I raised the prayer point, I said, every witch is, I did under this ministry, deeper life, this district. Lord, expose them. Hmm. Do you know that that hmm. prayer brought trouble? As I'm talking to you now, they have cancelled that prayer meeting because God exposed their wicked works. Hmm. God exposed, and the and the group pastor supported it. So I'm here to go and meet him. Do so he knows me? I'm here to do. I'm here to go meet him. That's why I need I need us to pray. This prayer line, every a can. I did under this ministry. All their all their hatter is false. Look for false and just go. Look for false. Let's pray. God separate them from us. We don't need them. You will need yeah. such a voice. Lord, every account I did under this platform that every to bring can to them looking looking for false. Lord, take them away from us. Pastor Ali, 
Mama, what you call you Yes, sir. Round of applause, ma. Round of applause. Mm. Uh, Heavenly Daddy, we thank you so much for being with us, so Lord. Before we gather, you were already waiting for us to gather together. My God and my Lord, and we have gathered and we have heard your uh, voice, so Lord, where we read from the Bible. Oh, my God, my Lord, you promised to do new things unto us that we should follow. Get the former things, the old things that happened in our life or in our family before, that we will focus on new things that are coming to us. And you led us to sing the song we sang, do something new in our lives. We are requesting, Lord, my God and my Lord, we do something new in all areas of our lives in the name of Jesus. My Amen. God, and my Lord, we are depending on you. You have given us ministry. Oh, Lord, my God, my Lord, we have no power to carry it out to you, oh Lord. But, oh, Lord, as you give us your grace and increase our faith, we will be able to succeed in the ministry in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And any power, any spirit that do not want us to uh, carry out the ministry in the way the Lord wants us to carry it in the name of Jesus, expose them in the name of Jesus. Any power, Amen. any spirit coming among us in this prayer line, trying to find forth so that um, we will not move forward as the Lord has promised us that he's going to do a new thing. Oh, Lord, my God, expose them and let them be flushed out from my midst in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, my Lord, as we have prayed forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Jesus, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, the new things, we are expecting them from this time we have Pray. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for all the pastors that have left the prayer. We thank you for other pastors that are around. We thank you for everyone that joined this prayer like this morning. New things are coming unto us in Jesus' name. We need more, Amen. Power, more, more anointing, more empowerment, more revival of our life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for mm -hmm. all the prayers we have prayed. We have been assured you have answered us in the name of Jesus. May your name be praised and glorified Amen. and adored and uplifted forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Let's share the grace together. With the grace of our Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ, Christ mm -hmm. the Lord of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. We shall meet Amen. on Thursday. The grace of the Lord will be with everyone of all in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. You all. I love you all. God bless you. God, we love you too, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.